Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I've got a pretty cool one for you guys. We're gonna be reviewing the Aeronet Radon Sensor Plus. Now we have reviewed multiple Aeronet products in the past. Uh, we've got the Aeronet 4 Home, we've already reviewed those. Uh, we also have a review up of the Aeronet Radiation Sensor, which is different than Radon. So go watch these videos after this one, but for now we're gonna focus on the Radon Sensors. Let's take a look at the box itself. On the back here you can see Radon Sensor, and then there's a little bit about it right here. To my surprise, there are quite a few people that don't understand how dangerous Radon can be in the home. So having one of these can definitely help alert you to how much you have, as well as give you a nudge to maybe uh, mitigate that radon if you do have it. Now, I am at a location that does have radon. I have two other radon sensors and I have tested them against a third just to make sure that they're all kind of in line. So I'm gonna be testing this one against those and we'll see how accurate this one really is. Now this is bigger than other Aeronet products. I do like the fact that all of this packaging is paper. It's easy to dispose of. You can recycle it, burn it. It's not like a bunch of annoying plastic. Now. We have the Aeronet Home app already, but if you don't, that is where you can get it from the App Store. And here is the quick start guide, which I will probably take a look at here in a minute. Here is the RN Plus, as they call it. I'll pull it out. And of course it's in paper, which is no big deal. Look at this, this looks like one of those old timey TVs. Unlike those, this thing is lightweight, it's not super heavy, but this is where I guess that radon sensor is. And there's nothing to really see on the back. On the bottom here, this looks like probably where you put the batteries. So let me go ahead and open that up. That is the battery compartment. So I'm gonna set that right here and we're gonna take these out. So here are those cool batteries. I like how they are just easy to open like this. A lot of other electronics, it's very hard to get them out of those little packets. Matte texture to them. I don't know why that matters, but it's kind of premium feeling. Uh, is there anything else in this box? No, I don't believe so. So we can set this off to the side. All right, next up is to insert these batteries. This one has a minus, so that one should go in like this. And this one has a plus, which means plus. Guessing that is correct. Let's find out. So it is now in. Let's peel this off and yes, it is booting. Perfect. So let's see what it looks like when it boots up. Now, of course, this is gonna be a full review video. Uh, this is not just going to be an unboxing. This is the full review. So right now I'm unboxing it and I'm going to cut the video and in a few weeks, I will splice it back together with my results. Uh, so this is the only video you need to watch. So sit back, relax. Now it says three actions, up, press and down with this right here. So I guess press to continue. And now it is doing its measurement. And it is actually around 79 degrees in the studio right now. It is very hot with all these studio lights, but yeah, so this is doing its thing right now. But while we're waiting for it to calibrate, I'm gonna have to move it obviously to where I want it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and pair it up right now. So let's see if we can find it here. And there it is, easy enough, and we'll accept the pairing. Now it's showing a pin on the screen, so I'm gonna enter that. All right, so this is pretty cool here. As you can see, we've got the radon concentration. This is like a quick start guide. It says step one, the center of the screen displays the radon concentration. The top is for temperature and humidity. The color-coded indication bars warn of unhealthy radon levels. And of course, you can adjust those thresholds as you wish. And then step two, it says the units and information displayed on the screen can be varied either by the button on the side of the sensor or through the Aeronet Home app. That is awesome. I think this is the first one with actual buttons on the outside, so I like to see that. And then here we have step three. You can select various screen settings to display the current radon concentrations or averages over one day, seven days, or 30 days. Adjust the screen by pushing the side button up or down. Very cool, all right. And I'm going to leave it in PCIL, Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna keep the buzzer off for now. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It is now measuring. So for radon, in case you guys are unaware, you kind of have to have a good amount of data before it can be accurate. So it is just right now going through and measuring and trying to calibrate itself and get the base level of radon right now. Now in the studio I'm at right now, I don't believe that there is any radon here, but I do have a couple locations that I'm going to put this and test. Now, a lot of times it is recommended to not move these around locations very often. So I might actually just pick one location, but we'll have to see how much time I want to leave in between. Some say that you need to wait like a week or 30 days to get accurate readings. My experience, it's usually about a week uh, to get a good baseline for any given location. But considering radon is such an important thing to know <laughs> whether or not you have. I'm gonna take this very seriously and test this as thoroughly as I can. So I will be right back in the same video after a few weeks of testing. All right guys, so it has been a little over a month that I have been testing this Aeronet radon sensor and I have to say I am blown away. In fact, this has shown me that one of my other radon sensors is not that great. Let me explain. First of all, on the display, you can see the temperature, humidity, radon level, green, yellow, red, to let you know about your levels. Uh, and you also have the units there and the battery. Now, looking around the device, it does have a button here that you can mess with, and that's about it. Uh, the battery compartment is right here. 
and you can easily swap those out as needed. Now this little lever here is pretty cool. So if I toggle through here, you can see it beeps a little and there's 2.62 is my 24 hour average. If I toggle it again, I got the week average and then there is the 30 day average and we are back to right here. Now let's talk about the app and we're gonna talk about Radon a little bit because this is something I'm pretty passionate about because Radon is odorless, tasteless, you can't see it. It's just in the air in almost everyone's home in the US and keeping the levels as low as possible is important. Now, according to the WHO, radon is actually one of the leading causes of lung cancer. So it's it's scary. I didn't even know that radon existed uh, before I moved into one of my other recent houses where they had a radon mitigation system installed. And one of those systems, they're not super expensive, maybe one or $2,000, and they can regulate the level of radon and make sure that it doesn't accumulate, especially in the basement. So that's usually where you're gonna see it uh, because this comes from the earth. It's radioactive and it just seeps through cracks in your basement, comes in and then accumulates in your basement and then goes up to your first floor and second floor. So right now I am in a studio and it's a little lower here. Now this has been in my master bedroom for uh, basically the entire month. I did take it out to my office a couple times. You guys can see for yourself if I toggle through this, the past 24 hours, 2.62. Now that's not horrible, but you want this as low as possible. I don't think there's any safe amount of radon. You just want it as low as possible. Taking a look at the app here, we can see right away exactly what's shown here. So we can see all of that information, the temperature, humidity, pressure. We can't see pressure on this, but we can on the app. We can see the radon amount. So 1.7. Now inside of this, if I tap on it, I can see a ton more information. So it's gonna pull all that data right now, very quickly, there we go. And if I go to last seven days, I can really see what's been going on with the radon. So it's been going into the yellow territory, almost the red territory right here, I think. I believe five is the cutoff. If I'm not mistaken. But depending on the weather, especially when it starts getting cooler and the pressure outside the house is different than the pressure inside the house, for lack of a better word, it starts pulling the radon into the house. So you can see higher levels at those times. Now let me just give you a little background. I have two other radon sensors in this house. One in my basement, which is basically made for radon. And the other is another air quality monitor that you guys have probably seen before. I'm not gonna name names, but that one completely sucks compared to this. In fact, that one kind of does more of a rolling average. This thing can give you data in like 10 minutes. That's how quick this is. And that's insane. Most of them take at least a couple hours, maybe 24 hours to give you some real solid information. This thing just out of the box, 10 minutes it's up and running. Now I find that crazy valuable because I can move this around different parts of my house and figure out where the radon is the highest and try to figure out what I'm gonna do. Now my other house, I also have another radon sensor and that house has a radon mitigation system installed. So it's supposedly taking out the radon and having something like this can basically keep it in check and make sure that the mitigation system's actually working and keeping it out. And so far it has been. All that to say, you guys definitely want to pick up one of these. This is something I would gift to family members uh, just to have around and just get their levels and figure out if they need to do anything because this is something you don't want to accumulate. Now, if we head back into the app here, we can also see the temperature. And by the way, this is insane accurate. Uh, I've been comparing it to the Aeronet 4 here, which I have two of these, and these things are spot on. Like this and this, they're spot on. I don't know if they are right now because I just pulled them out of two different rooms. Yeah, 52, 53, and 71.7 and 72. I mean, they are super close. Uh, a lot of times when I look over at them because I had them next to each other in my bedroom, it would be exactly the same. So super, super accurate here as far as the temperature and the humidity goes. These things are awesome. Now, talking about the pressure, that is something that at first glance, you'd be like, why do they put pressure on a radon sensor? Well, turns out pressure actually plays a big role. Like I mentioned, when the outside air pressure of your house goes up or down, that affects the inside air pressure of your house going up or down. Now, due to negative or positive pressure influences, this can start to pull radon into your home. And that's scary because that's when you get the high levels. So actually adding pressure on here is super important and you can actually correlate the pressure here with radon levels here. And you can just go back and forth and take a look. And it's pretty evident what's going on here. In case you are uh, unaware, you can just see it right there. I mean, clear as day. So you can correlate that with your own house and this is super powerful. This is two AA batteries. You can bring it with you different rooms around your house. Maybe you wanna put it in one room for a week and then another room for a week. You don't have to worry about power cords or anything. Uh, it's a lot thicker than one of these Aeronet 4s and it's a lot thicker than the radiation sensor which is pretty much the same size. In case you guys haven't realized, I am a huge fan of Aeronet. Their devices are super accurate and I have had no bad experiences with them so far. That is nearly impossible for me to say for any other company. There's usually something that just goes wrong or one of the metrics like the temperature or something would be you know bad or the humidity. No, these things across the board, super accurate, been very, very happy. And I am very particular about testing these devices. I don't just throw them in a room and say, okay, yeah, looks good. Like I said, I compared this to two other radon sensors that I have in my home. And those other two sensors, 
they've been going on for like at this point, nine months, maybe those things have gathered a ton of data. This thing just comes in out of the blue and the numbers are more accurate. And the radon sensor, like I said, in my bedroom, is just, it's not good because I can compare this to my other sensor and those are pretty close. The one in my bedroom has been off a little bit. And I noticed the one in my bedroom is kind of a lagging 24 hour indicator. So it's not super updated. It's okay for radon because you don't have to have it exact in that moment. You just want to see, you know, the overall average trend of what's going on, uh, especially right here. The last 24, seven days and 30 days average, super important stuff. If you can have it up to date every 10 minutes and super accurate, that's what you want. So this is by far my favorite radon sensor, better than the other ones that I've tested. This is a brand new product. For Aaron to just come out and just whoop the competition like this, it's pretty funny to see uh, because they are doing doing it right here. So anyways, guys, the price is a little steep on this, at least at the time of review, it appears to be about 180 bucks, uh, which is kind of high, but for what you're getting here with a solid application, Aeronet's a great company. We've been working with them for a while now. And just having the ability and flexibility to move this around is invaluable. Now, if I click on the settings here, I can change some things. So if I wanted to change the units, I can change them from PCIL to BQM cubed. I can change the units from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and I can change the radon measurement from current to one of the other options on the screen right here. I personally like to see the current because that's what's most important to me. Change the buzzer if you want. You can have that go off if it goes over a certain range. Change the Bluetooth range. I always keep mine on normal just for battery life sake. Uh, and then you've got smart home integration and firmware. There's already been a firmware update for this uh, at least once or twice. So they are actively working on this to fine tune it and to tweak it so that it gets better battery life and things like that. But you can't change the interval that this one kind of tests. So it is what it is, the way it works. I think it's every 10 minutes or so. It seems to update and give a fresh reading on what it is currently. Like I said, most people don't know it exists, but it's something that can easily be fixed if you know you have it. So I highly recommend checking out something like this. This information can be invaluable and I hope that the general public starts to wake up and understands the implications of radon in their home. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. I can't recommend this enough. It is fantastic device. All of Aeronet's products so far have been fantastic. I have no complaints with them. Their prices are a little higher than some of the competition. They're not insane prices. And for what you're getting, something that doesn't connect to Wi-Fi, it's just a simple device that you can move around sync to your phone and it's private. What more can you ask for? Again, big thank you and shout out to Aeronet for sending this device out free for review. If you liked the video, hit the big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.